pray, I desire to pray. As I pray, I keep praying in the name of Jesus. Lift your voice and tell you, Father, increase the desire for prayer. Increase my appetite to pray. As I pray, I desire more. As I pray, I desire more. In the name of Jesus. As I pray, I desire to pray. As I pray, I want to pray. As I pray, my spirit is a lot. As I pray, I am better. As I pray, I want to increase. Holy Capregadusa. Lord, we desire. Lord, plant in us, uh, increase the grace to pray in the house tonight, uh, in the mighty name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name, we pray. Hallelujah. May have our seat in the presence of God. We give God praise. I want to appreciate our Father in the Lord. In absentia, we celebrate him in this house. He has groomed me. Maybe you. I will thank God for him. I will pray for him that God will always be with him. Wherever he be, the grace of God will be multiplied in his life. Say amen. Hallelujah. Today, um. I'm tasked to lead us to pray on a topic, make me a carrier of grace. Hallelujah. Make me a carrier of grace. Hallelujah. Somebody say, Lord, make me a carrier of grace. Say it with boldness. Lord, make me a carrier of grace. In every area of life, make me a carrier of grace. In the name of Jesus, it is so in Jesus' name. So we're going to pray tonight. We spend much of the time pray. As we study, we pray. As we check the Bible, we use it to pray. Because the word of God is what God will do in Jesus' name. Grace is God's ability. Grace is God's ability in a man's inability. Or God's ability in human inability. Whatever a man cannot do is what God can do in a man. Praise the name of God. That is grace. Grace is God's ability in human inability. Human inability. What a man is limited. Grace enables Grace is God's grace in man's wretchedness. God's grace, grace is God's riches. God's riches in man's or for man's wretchedness. Grace is God's riches for man's wretchedness. But also grace is God's favor in a man. Grace is God's favor in a man or for a man. Many times, whenever we see grace mentioned in the Bible, they come along with favor. Many times we see grace, we see favor. Many times we see favor, we see grace. So God's grace or grace is God's favor in a man. So I want us to see, I want us to study the Bible and see a few things that we're going to use them to pray. Because tonight God will make us carriers of grace and forever in Jesus name why is grace important or what is the significance of grace why is grace significant in our lives hallelujah so you can pray from the point you are you can also pray as you walk around Whatever is convenient, make sure you pray. Hallelujah. So we are going to pray all the way in the name of Jesus. Number one, we are justified by grace. We are justified by grace. That is one significance of grace. Romans chapter 3 verse 24. We are justified by grace. Romans chapter 3 and verse 24. Hallelujah. It's on the screen. B. 
being justified freely by his grace through the redemption that is in Christ Jesus. We are justified by grace in the name of Jesus. If you are not justified, you can be disqualified. I want us to pray from our seat. Every point is a prayer point. So that's how we're going about it. And God will help us. I want us to pray, Father, justify me by grace. Bible says, and Abram obeyed God. Abram walked with God and it was counted righteousness. It is by grace. Lord, justify me by grace in the name of Jesus. Whatever good works, whatever commitment could not amount to justification, whatever efforts cannot do to justify me, Lord, justify me by grace in the name of Jesus. Make the prayer declare it as God, the Bible says, ask it of God. He will give it to you. Lord, justify me by grace. In the mighty name of Jesus. The Bible says, being justified freely by his grace through redemption. Lord, justify me by grace. In the mighty name of Jesus. When God justifies you, you cannot be condemned. In the mighty name of Jesus. What? want to condemn my destiny Lord justify me in the mighty name of Jesus I am not condemned in the mighty name of Jesus I will say therefore there is no condemnation to them that I Christ Jesus in the mighty name of Jesus I am redeemed Lord justify me by grace tonight oh bragadusha tiligadusha Somebody pray. Okay, let me get this out of order. Only get the get the get this out. For there is no condemnation to them that are in Christ Jesus. For the law of sin, for the law of sin has been abolished. It has been covered by grace in the mighty name of Jesus. Them that are in Christ Jesus, they have been justified. They are justified by grace. They are redeemed in the mighty name of Jesus. I am redeemed. I am not condemned. In the mighty name of Jesus, every condemnation that is raising against my life, I subdue you tonight. In the mighty name of Jesus, every voice of condemnation against my destiny, I subdue you. In the mighty name of Jesus, I nullify you now. Only Kebekadusha, somebody silence the voice of condemnation. In the mighty name name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus, I refuse, I reject you, every voice of condemnation against my ministry, against my walk with God, I silence you, I am justified by the grace of God, by the grace of God, I am justified in the mighty name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus, we saw in the Bible, in the book of Malachi, we saw Joshua, the high priest of God, the devil standing in the sight of Joshua to condemn him. And the Bible says, and God of the angel, remove that garment of sin, remove that garment of condemnation, remove it out of him. He is my son, I will justify him. We have seen it in the Bible, that God justify the Lord tonight arise who concerning my life who concerning world changes who justify us who by your praise who by your praise who by your praise who whatever works who whatever efforts who whatever commitment could not do who Lord justify us who it is not of it that runs who it is God that will who I was says who have God spoke to Moses who and he told Moses who I will show mercy who told I will show mercy who Lord whatever you will to do who 
mighty name we pray um, number two grace is visible I want us to look at the Bible in the book of Acts chapter 11 verse 23 grace is visible when you carry grace when you are a carrier of grace it is visible hallelujah Bible says when he came and he had seen the grace of God was glad I exalted them all that with purpose of art they would cleave unto the Lord. When grace is seen in your life, it makes people to hold on to God, to believe God, and to serve God better in the name of Jesus. Help us to pray, my Father. I know I carry grace. I know I operate in a measure of grace. But make grace visible. There are men of God that we know. Our Father in the Lord. Grace is visible in his life. When you look at him, you see the grace of God. I want us to pray, Lord, in my life. Increase the grace that I carry. In the mighty name of Jesus. Somebody lift your voice. Call him my Father, my Father. As I pray tonight. Increase your grace upon my life. Grace is visible. Whenever you carry the grace of God, it is very visible. It is man visible. In the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, make your grace visible. In my life, in my walk with you, everywhere I enter, make your grace to be visible. Let your grace be visible. When your grace is over my life. Let it be visible. Lord, it is the measure of grace upon my life. Make it very visible. In the mighty name of Jesus, I reject any grace that is in all security. Any grace that is covered. The grace of God cannot be covered. In the mighty name of Jesus, the things of are visible. I reject any condition that will subject me to security. In the mighty name of Jesus, I walk in the light by grace. In the mighty name of Jesus, whoever meet me, whoever I come across, they will see the grace of God upon my changes, upon my life. In the mighty name of Jesus, Somebody pray, Father, make grace visible in my life. Lika 
Zira, O Zete Pegedusa Gadanta, Rico Togo Bezira, Rico Togo Pegedagada, anything that limit me, anything that block visibility in my life, I command you to expire, Lia Kapala Gabagada, O Zete Pegedusa, over world changes, make your grace to be invisible, Lika Degeda Gadagada, or make a Pegedusa. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Next one, very quickly. Grace grows. Second Peter chapter 3, verse 18. Grace grows. If the grace that you are parading now is the same grace that you are parading last year, then you ought to grow. Grace grows. The grace of God grows. Bible says. But grow in grace and in the knowledge of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. To him be glory both now and forever. Amen. Let us to pray, Father. Let your grace grow in my life. Let your grace grow from one level to another. From one state. Uh, situation to another let your grace grow the level of grace a man carry determines how he operate on any man that you see any man of God that you see every woman that of God that you see the level of the operator it is determined by the grace they carry Lord increase the grace that you have put upon my life I pray that you grow me in grace I capture growth in grace in the mighty name of Jesus. Anything that is making me to be stranded, anything that has caused me to be stranded, Lord, let it be consumed in the mighty name of Jesus. Let the grace of God grow in my life. Let the grace of God grow in my family. Let the grace of God grow in my ministry. In the mighty name of Jesus. Bible says that the power of the just is like a shining light that shineth more, that shineth more and more unto the perfect day. In the name of Jesus, I reject stagnancy in my life. Let the grace of God grow. I will not testify the same thing forever. In the mighty name of Jesus, Jesus 
mighty name we pray. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name we pray. Uh, we pray. Hallelujah. Number four. Grace is a necessity in all areas of life for every believer. Grace is a necessity, is a basic need. Every believer requires grace in every area of life, not only in ministry. You need grace in business. You need grace in the corporate world. You need grace everywhere. Every man of God, every woman of God, you need grace to operate. It is a necessity in all areas of life. First Peter chapter 5 verse 10. First Peter 5 10. Hallelujah. First Peter 5 10. First Peter 5 10. Bible say, But the God of all grace, who has called us unto his eternal glory by Christ Jesus, that ye have suffered a while, make you perfect. Fish, strengthen, and settle you. So grace is a necessity in every area. God of all grace. Any area that God wants us to enter or venture into is supply grace. There is anything that, that's what the Bible says, in whatever that your hand find it to do, do it with Almighty. Because God, God abides in whatever we do. God is in whatever we do. Whatever we do that has God not in, that is not worth of God. I want us to pray that Father, this evening, Make grace a necessity. Supply me grace in every area of life, in every condition, in every circumstance. Whatever that I lay on soon, the grace of God will be seen. The grace of God will be available in the mighty name of Jesus. I will not be grace in ministry and be dry in business. I will not be grace in ministry and be dry in family. Father, make your grace available in every area of life. I will not be graced in revelation and be dry in wisdom. Lord, avail grace in my life. Round about. Somebody pray. God of all grace, God is of grace, God is of all grace, in every area, I will say, and be all the kingdoms of this world, they have become the kingdom of our Father, the Bible says, and the kingdoms of this world, they have become the kingdoms of our Father, that is to mean that God has called us to occupy healthy territory, healthy territory by like their human beings, Lord has called us to occupy, we take over by grace, we take over by grace, in the corporate world, we take over by grace, only get says, and to say was my son, whom right hand I hold, ah, to break before you, a gate of bronze, a golden gaze, a gazer, a gazer, and I show you the hidden treasure, who show you the power, who will give you the wealth of the nation, Lord, tonight, in every area who let your grace be available who only get a get a get a get a we will not be dry who in certain areas of life who only looks like who the grace is not available who I reject the status who over my life who I reject the condition who in the name of Jesus who or the Kedusha Brazida who Lord tonight who make your grace available who in all areas of my life, in every area of my life, in ministry, in business, in my 
of God makes us to be whom we ought to be. The grace of God makes us to be who we ought to be. First Corinthians chapter 15 verse 10. It is the grace that makes you to become what God ordained you to become. If not the grace, you can become it. You can become what God ordained you to become. Bible says, but by the grace of God, I am what I am. And his grace which was bestowed upon me was not in vain. But I labored more abundantly than they all. Yet not I, but the grace of God was with me, which was with me. The grace of God makes you to be who you are meant to be. I want you to pray the Father. But I'm venture, I am not what you called me to be. What you brought me to at this time to be. Because the Bible says we were brought from eternity. We were brought to time. And the time is limited. So if you do not use your time, you'll be a waste. You'll be useless. You will have wasted the time of God. Lord, help me understand that I'm operating within my time zone. That I'm operating according to your purpose. But I'll venture I'm out of line. But I'll Avenger, I'm out of sequence. Lord restore me by grace. Lord restore me by grace. Bible says I'm Paul Spoker in the book of Corinthians. And he said, I am what I am. Because of grace, it is not of knowledge, it is not of wisdom, it is because of grace. There are many people who are meant it in many areas in life, but they are useless. They have not become whom they ought to be because they are deficient of grace. When a man carry grace, he become as he's supposed to be. Bible says, and Jesus become about that years. He began as he was supposed to be. He began his assignment. But adventure, my time is past. Lord, redeem me tonight by grace. But adventure, I have missed my time. Lord, I redeem it by grace. Make me who I ought to be. Lord, make me. Make me who I ought to be. According to your purpose, I will say, and God spoke to Jeremiah, and he told him before I call you, in your mother's womb, I knew you, I obeyed you, I meant you, I meant you a prophet, Lord, but I'm venture any world changer who is not in line with your calling, Lord, restore us by grace, Lika Brazanta, Ole Pegadusa Gada, Eka Deke Pegadusa, Lord tonight, by grace was coming, Ole Pegadusa, somebody pray, Ole Katepe for your children, pray for every white teacher, Lord, we catch up with our time, by the grace of God, any time that I've been wasted, any time. That are being eaten by the conquer worms, by the palmer worms, we redeem it by grace in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of 
Precious name we pray. Grace is multiplied through knowledge. Grace is multiplied through knowledge of God's word. Not just any knowledge. Grace is multiplied through knowledge of God's word. Not just any knowledge. You can acquire knowledge, acquire knowledge. But if it is not the knowledge of God's word or God's purpose, it is not useful. It cannot multiply grace. First Peter chapter, Second Peter 1, 2. Second Peter 1, 2. Grace is multiplied through knowledge of God's word. The more we know him, the more grace is bestowed. Grace and peace be multiplied unto you through the knowledge of God and of Jesus our Lord. The more you know God, the more grace it is, it is multiplied. The Bible says grace and peace be multiplied. It is only by knowing. It is only by acquainting yourself with the knowledge of God. It is only by studying God's word. It is only by searching the ways of God. Let us to pray the Father multiply grace through the knowledge of your word in my life. Lord, multiply grace in my life through the knowledge of your word. As I study you, as I sit down to understand the things of God, increase the grace that I carry. As I study the word of God, as I preach and minister the gospel, as I testify of God, as I give you glory, multiply the grace, multiply grace on my life, in my family, in my ministry, Lord, multiply grace and peace in my life, through the knowledge of your word, as I get to know you, as I seek to know you, as I desire to know you, grace is multiplied, grace is multiplied, Lord, multiply your grace on my life, in world changes, multiply, multiply, we receive grace in multiple, not even addition, in multiplication, I will see multiply, multiplicity of grace, the grace of God is multiplied in my life through the knowledge of God as I desire to know you. Grace is multiplied. Let it be multiplied unto every world changer. Lick it, 
de begede le presida yanta le begedoza thank you jesus thank you jesus in jesus mighty name we pray amen going to take five more prayers we finish I write a small subtopic product of grace or what grace does what can grace do in my life or what has grace done in the life of those who have gone before us in the name of Jesus number one grace brings distinction in the midst of frustrations grace brings distinction in the midst of frustration and also in the midst of disappointments in the midst of frustration in the midst of disappointment in the midst of destruction grace brings distinction i want us to look at the bible the book of genesis chapter 6 verse 6 to 8 hallelujah genesis 6 verse 6 to 8 Hallelujah. The Bible says, And it repented the Lord that he had made man on the earth, and it grieved him at his heart. Verse 7. And the Lord said, I will destroy man whom I have created from the face of the earth, both man and beast, and the creeping thing, and the fowls of the air, for it repented me that I have made them. Verse 8. But Noah found grace in the eyes of the law. The previous verses we see how God is lamenting. How God says, it repented God. That it repented me. That I created humanity. That I brought men into time. He has repented me. But God saw something in the verse 8. The Bible says, but Noah found grace in the sight of God. Grace brings distinction in the midst of frustration, even in the midst of destruction. If you read the preceding verses, you will see how Noah prepared himself and escaped destruction. I want us to pray in our present world. There are many things that are happening. The Bible says, God spoke to Noah and he told him, The end of all things is come. And all flesh has come before me. And it is about time. And God destroyed. The Bible says God opened the gate of both down and above. Every side I released very massive flood on the face of the earth that covered the universe. I us to pray the Father in the midst of wickedness make me to be different. Let there be a distinction in the mighty name of Jesus. Bible says, "Nor was a uh, uh, Lot was a righteous man living in the midst of wicked men. He was vexed by the wickedness of the Sodomites. He was vexed by the wickedness of men in Sodom. But he remained holding unto God until the day of destruction. God." God saved Noah out of uh, Lot out of destruction. Bible says the angel of the Lord took Lot out of the city and God destroyed the city. That means that there is distinction where you carry grace. There is distinction between you and them that are perishing. Bible says I will not perish in the name of Jesus. Somebody pray, Lord, uh, let there be a distinction because of grace uh, in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, Bible says that the perilous time shall come in the latter days men shall change their minds men shall walk cold in their service to God Lord make me different make a distinction between me and the world in the mighty name of Jesus when men are committing sin when men are backsliding when men are losing faith when men are losing favor when men are losing grace I am not among them. I am distinction by the grace of God. I am separated in the mighty name of Jesus. The Bible says, but no, but no, he found grace of God. He found grace.
praise uh, in the sight of God. Hika palada. Yege dege 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 dege. Banwa fan grace uh, in the midst of wicked men. Uh, in the midst of the wicked generation. Uh, are you right, uh, uh, Lord? Tonight uh, we will not be wiped away. Uh, we shall by grace. Uh, let our service uh, to our grace. Uh, in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, in the mighty name. Of Jesus, thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. When a man carries grace, they are preserved. You have seen that in the life of Noah. Number two, exemption from destruction. Grace brings exemption from destruction. Jeremiah 31, verse 2. Very quickly, grace brings exemption. Grace brings exemption from destruction. Thus says the law, the people which were left of the sword found grace in the wilderness. Even his while, when I went to cause it to waste, grace, grace brings exemption from destruction. We see that the whole lot of people were destroyed. But God says, those which were left of the sword, they found grace. Grace exempt people. Others to pray that Father exempt me from destruction. Exempt me from the sword by grace. Preserve my life. Preserve world changes. By grace in the name of Jesus. Let our story be. That's the other Lord. World changes which was left of the sword found grace. When other men are losing. When the world is lamenting. We are exempted by grace when the economy is affecting others we are exempted by grace when men are saying when men are casting down when men are losing we are finding grace to be exempted in the mighty name of Jesus we are exempted by grace in the mighty name of Jesus by the grace of God we are exempted from every impending destruction in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Number three. Grace provides a means of escape. Grace provides a means of escape. Ezra chapter 9 verse 8. Ezra verse chapter 9 verse 8. Grace provides means of escape. Bible say. And now for a little space, grace has been shared from the Lord our God to leave us a remnant to escape and to give us a name in his holy place that our God might lighten our eyes and give us a little reviving in our bondage. Grace provides the capacity to escape. Grace calls men to escape. Bible says God has left a remnant to escape in our generation unto the pray. I will escape in the mighty in the name of Jesus, I escape the wrath of God. I escape the destruction of men. I escape iniquity. I escape destruction. I escape untimely death. I escape. Somebody pray, Lord, by your grace. I escape out of every impending danger. Any cause, every form of affliction. I escape. By the grace of God, I dodge it. I escape. By the power of grace, I escape. I escape. I escape. No changes escape. Help me attack. In the mighty name of Jesus, we escape every destruction. We escape every trouble. We escape. We escape. We escape. Jesus mighty name we pray number four grace gives access to divine mysteries grace gives access to divine mysteries Exodus chapter 33 verse 12 to 13 then Ephesians chapter 3 verse 8 to 9 let's read Ephesians 3 8 9. Ephesians 3 8 to 9 hallelujah Grace 
grace will give us understanding will open our eyes to mist and to me who am less than the least of all saints is the grace given that i should preach among the gentiles the unsearchable riches of christ verse 9 and to make all men see what is the fellowship of the mystery which from the beginning of the world has been either in god who created all things by jesus christ the things of god are mysteries it takes grace to decode them it takes grace to to understand the things of god i want us to pray father let grace rest upon me i will be able to decode mysteries divine mysteries in the book of genesis where we did not read in the book of exodus 33 where we reader Moses taught God then if I have found grace before you let your grace them by grace show me what it will be show me how things how these things shall be show me what you will do it is grace that opened the eyes of men says it is by grace that we understand the mystery Divine mysteries in the mighty name of Jesus are the place of fellowship where divinity means means humanity it it has grace to to understand the things of God it it has grace to decode mysteries that are divinely hidden in the mighty name of Jesus Lord give us understanding open our eyes to divine mysteries Bible says and God spoke to Job in a wild week and he told him guard yourself as a man because I will demand answers today. Where was God when I said the pillars of the world? Do you know where the darkness comes from? These are mysteries of God. They are not decodable. You cannot understand the things of God except by revelation, except by the spirit of revelation, except by the grace of God. It is takes the grace of God to understand divine mysteries in the name of Jesus I receive that grace in Jesus mighty name we pray lastly grace gives access to divine presence grace gives access to divine presence Exodus chapter 33 verse 16 in the name of Jesus Grace gives access to divine presence. See that people that have enjoyed the presence of God because of grace. We see the people, people that have been preserved because of grace. Exodus 33 verse 16. The Bible says, Where we shall it be known here that I and thy people have found grace in thy side. Is it not in, the, in that thou goest with us? So shall we be separated, I and thy people, from all the people that are upon the face of the earth. Grace gives access to divine presence. Grace gives access to divine presence. Lord, I pray this prayer. Lord, give me access to divine presence by grace. In the mighty name of Jesus, we receive divine access. We are able to cry to God and solution is available we are able to pray and there is solution I will say my mama, as they were as the, at the contest mountain when Elijah began to offer sacrifice he called unto God he called unto God and told him the God of fire and fire came down it is because of grace it gave him access to divine presence the presence of God came down in form of fire Lord give me access to divinity Lord give me access to divine presence in the mighty name of Jesus in Jesus name we pray as we close what limits grace in our service 
We just pray one. We will study the other. God will help us. Number one, life of sin. Consistently living in, in sin or living a life of sin. Judges 16 verse 20. Book of Judges 16 verse 20. There are people that God has put his grace upon them. But because of consistent life of sin, the grace will lift and they become no more men. They lose it. Bible says, and she said, The Philistine be upon thee, Samson. And he awoke out of his sleep and said, I will go out as at other times before I shake myself. And he wished not that the Lord was departed from him. The life of sin makes grace to lift, it makes God's divine presence to leave you. And that's how the, uh, the trouble of Samson began. They caught him and he could not defend himself because God was not with him. I want us to pray this last prayer. That God help me to live a consistent righteous life. Help me to desire more of you in the name of Jesus. Pray that prayer. Lord help me to live consistently anchoring for the things of God. Desiring for the things of God. Let my desire be for God. Let my desire be for God. In the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, put the desire of the things of God in my life. Put the desire of God inside me. My Father, my Father. Lord, give me the desire to serve you. In the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, we give you all the praise. Lord, we give you all the glory. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Hallelujah. Let us give God praise. We believe God has visited us. Our prayers are now praise reports. Our prayers are solutions to life matters. In the mighty name of Jesus. We believe in the mighty name of Jesus. We already have activated grace in our lives. We walk in grace. In dense grace without measure. Great grace of God. In the name of Jesus. I will say that the apostles they worked miracles and the grace of God was with them and great grace of God was with them I activate I activate I activate grace in my life in the mighty name of Jesus Lord I thank you for the grace that you have deposited in me in the mighty name of Jesus in Jesus mighty name we pray hallelujah oh uh, at this time join me to welcome our mommy to crown it for us hallelujah let us receive her with rejoicing hallelujah thank you jesus hallelujah let's celebrate jesus Hallelujah, if you believe that, you believe that the level of grace you had before you came to this service is not the same with the one you have with, shout a louder, hallelujah. Hallelujah, let's say you are glorious. So glorious in your way. 